Well, as you know by now, the Packers play tonight on Monday Night Football. The league announcing kickoff is pushed back to 8 o'clock. Our Lance Allen joins us live from Lambeau tonight on what fans can expect. And we know it's a new experience. That's for sure, Lance. Certainly is, Carol. And they kind of keep pushing that kickoff back, as you mentioned. So hopefully we can get this one in before midnight. Yeah, we got to get to bed on time. And basically, it is kind of one of those weird situations where Sunday Night Football and NBC and TMJ4, it is the number one rated show for the past decade. But Monday Night Football is still a really big deal. I'm going to get out of the shot and show you. We have locked gates here, security there, no fans in the stands, and nobody tailgating here, just a few fans and just a couple of cars in the lot. And that's about it. Now, earlier today, wide receiver Devontae Adams listed as questionable the hamstring injury. Well, he put this tweet out, which was soon after deleted, saying, quote, sorry, fans and friends, I won't be on the field tonight. I've done everything I need to do and proved I'm ready, but I guess I don't know my body as well as others. Good luck out there with my boy. Seems upset that he will not be able to play tonight. Now, injury creates opportunity, and we could see more snaps for rookie running back A.J. Dillon. People are clamoring to see him more and Matt LaFleur admits they need to do a better job with him. No, I think that's more uh, just us making sure that we're, we're, we follow through with what we say we're going to do and, and that, uh, you know, we got to be, we got to put them in the game. And I, I realize, you know, we have a really good situation with our running back room. We've got three guys that we have a lot of confidence in and, and uh, Aaron and Jamal and AJ. I mean, we got confidence in all of those guys. So that's a good problem to have. The problem, I guess, from a, from a, just getting them out on the field, typically you only have one halfback in the game. So that's where the challenge lies is, is how do you take away reps from somebody else? And But that's something that we definitely need to make sure that we, we get done. Aaron Jones has been phenomenal so far this year, but the Falcons' defense, second worst in the NFC, so you would think that you would see some other offensive players really step up, especially with Devontae Adams and Alan Lazard out as well. Live outside Lambeau Field, Lance Allen, TMJ4 News. Carol, back to you.